Hi, it's Trisha with the Naked Hippies Road Trip. Bruce and I are out for a walk today here in Arizona. It's 68 degrees. You know, I just gotta, t I gotta share that with my friends back in Missouri who are uh, been dealing with below zero temperatures. But anyway, today I want to talk to you. Well, actually, I'm just gonna tell you something. This might just knock you over. I deserve to be rich. How about you? You know, there's people that are going to hear me say that. And they're going to they're going to say that is sinful to say. That's blasphemy. And then there's people that are going to hear me say that and they're going to they're going to you know, they really want they want to believe that so much. But they sit there at the kitchen table with a pile of bills and you know, all they all they know what to do is to make a wish on a star. Or to make a wish when they blow out their birthday candles. Or they even get those emails. You know, have you ever gotten one of these? If you forward this to ten people, your abundance is gonna increase by a million or something ridiculous like that. I hope you never do that. But but they're desperate. Or they'll buy a lottery ticket, you know? That's what they think, that's where they place their hope, on wishes and lottery tickets. And then there's the people that are afraid to be rich. They're, they're afraid of it because they know if they have a lot of money, there's going to be relatives and friends knocking on their door asking for help. So, I deserve to be rich. Sounds ostentatious, doesn't it? It's kind of flamboyant, self-centered. You agree? I mean, if you said that to anyone that you know, wouldn't their eyebrows raise up? You know, wouldn't they just kind of go, <gasps> and, and it would be almost as if you had said, hey, the Pope called me and asked for my advice. Same kind of reaction, I'm pretty sure. Or, <laughs> you know, they would, or else they'd do this. I know that my family would do this. They'd go, you go get it, that's good, go ahead. You know, like the, the whole disbelief thing. You know, it's not going to happen for you. And therein lies the problem. Your belief. And I'm going to tell you this. This is pretty amazing. But um, it's not entirely your fault that you had these beliefs in there. They were, they were put in there from the time you were born. Okay, so let me, let me prove this to you. See if you can finish these nursery rhymes. Mary had a little... Got it, don't you? Jack and Jill went up the hill to... Got that one, don't you? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your... Yeah, uh-huh. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Yeah, you see, your mom read you those nursery rhymes when you were little. And you still got them. It's been years. It has been years and years, but they're still in there. And you can say them like that. All right, let me show you something else. See if you can finish these sentences. Money doesn't grow on. Yep. Rich people are. Mm-hmm. You have to work hard for your. Yep, you got that one. Money is the root of all. Uh-huh. Money can't buy. Yep. If it's too good to be true, probably. Yeah, so see, just like the nursery rhymes, those are in there. You, you got them. And whether you want them or not, they're in there. And, and they came from your parents. They came from your grandparents. They came from TV. They came from movies you watched. I mean, TV. Gilligan's Island. The Cursed Howls. Remember them? Stuck up. Rich people. That's how they're portrayed. Rich people are portrayed as greedy. You grew up with this. It's in there. And so now when you try to say, I deserve to be rich, all of those things come out at once to tell you that no, you don't. So, I got the answer for you, and it's plain and simple. There is a book you need to read. Go get it now. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. He takes you inside there, in that financial blueprint that's in there, he takes you in there and unlocks those things and gets them out. You got to read the book. I mean, if you're sitting there kind of wanting to say, I deserve to be rich, but you know that you're fighting against your subconscious then get the book. And then, one more thing. If you find out there's an event 
that T. Harbecker is putting on, Millionaire Mind Intensive, go. I don't care if you're in Missouri and you need to get to Phoenix, you go. It is life changing. I guarantee you that. So, all right. I deserve to be rich. You deserve to be rich. Let's do this thing together. I'll see you on the next video.